so like my parents are Ben's godparents, Uncle Reed and Susan are my godparents, and are both only children, so it kind of created this really special family union. Whew, okay, um, <laughs> so I have to start with my favorite story, which is I think infamous at this point in our family. Um, there was a time at the cabin. Don't go there. Where, <laughs> I'm going there. Um, we had to involve Ben like teenagers. It was Ben, me, and then Dan and Mary's two kids, and um, we were all definitely under 21, um, but our parents weren't. Uh, <laughs> so there was a point in the evening where Aunt Susan is teaching all of us kids how to play Texas Hold'em. <laughs> and Dad and Uncle Reed had broken the one martini rule probably four hours earlier. So I think at that point, they were both asleep in the living room. <laughs> um, so the next morning, we wake up, and Uncle Reed calls me out onto the front deck of the, of the cabin, and we sit on the swing, and he has a conversation with me about Uncle Reed. <laughs> <laughs> about, you know, about, uh, and bad news is about the ball demonstrated to me the previous night by my family. <laughs> But what I love about this, what I've always said, is, you know, Ben and I, we're only children, and I always joke that our dad's got the right gender, because my dad got me, and I think Uncle Reed would be in prison right now if he had a daughter. <laughs> but I, it worked out really fun, because Ben and I got the best of both worlds. We got to share dads and, and moms, and um, I think the biggest memory for me is just the fact that he gave us his legacy, he gave me a brother, and um, I just feel so lucky that we can carry on his memory and make new memories with our families, and you know, everyone always says, uh, this is a joke from, I'm an only child, I don't have big family, so I had a lot of aunts and uncles, and my friends would always ask me, like, oh, is that a real uncle or a fake uncle? <laughs> And um, Uncle Reed wasn't my blood, but he was my real uncle. And I was very lucky to be part of his life and have him as part of mine. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. I'm gonna keep crying. So. <laughs>